I just want to be the best in what I do. I want to be involved in the best team. I want to be involved in the best club. I want to be the best player there. In my way, in my own way, I want me to be the best person I can be. I started playing as a young kid, probably getting a little bit of anger out. I knew I was pretty good at it. I could just step on the field without training for a couple of weeks and play rugby. As I grew up, people were saying, oh, you're going to have good opportunities here, you might go far and stuff. And as a kid, you're like, yeah, whatever. I'm just like, bullshit, like, I'm not going to do it. But as obviously you go through the stages one by one, and you think, I've got an opportunity, but then strip it all back and you're like, you focus on yourself because that's the only person that's going to get you there. And when I did play from the country, mate, it's even better than ever. I had dyslexia when I was a kid, so I just struggled. I, I knew I wanted the best academically, so I'd, I'd do stuff on purpose to get kicked out of class. Saved myself the embarrassment, obviously, of looking like an idiot. Probably then got into trouble, because obviously I was doing stuff that I probably shouldn't have been doing. The fighting, obviously, wasn't, wasn't a good thing. Me and mates got in quite a lot of trouble with that. I just remember as a kid, we went to an ice skating rink and ended up getting chased by police. One end of the police coming this way, and the other end of the police behind me, and I was just like, I'm gonna do here. <laughs> I just shaved myself to the fair. Police cars came flying around the corner and just numbers being on my, on my face, you know, me head pushing the ground, you know, cuffs on my back. So, yeah, it was, yeah, pretty, pretty tough time for us. Yeah. I'd sign bail every Sunday. It just started to see it, started to see my mum struggle and do it. Yeah. I just felt it let, I let her down massively and um, she didn't deserve it, I suppose. I think it just taught me a lesson. Open my eyes to her, what she'd done for us. Luckily enough, I got out of that, if I'm honest with you. I probably said it all down to my little girl being born. At that moment, it made me realise that I've got someone else I need to look after. She pointed me in the right direction, even though she was only a baby. Like, I need to make my parents proud, I need to, you know what I mean? I need to make my family proud. My family are the people that I love going up to the end of the game and seeing them happy. There's no better feeling than running out, playing, playing for your country and just seeing the people there that I've helped you get there, enjoying the moment we have. As much as it is, I play rugby for myself, but I also play rugby for my family. Like They'd give everything for my rugby. Me giving a little bit back and just seeing them happy and them enjoying my rugby is probably a big beneficial of what obviously I do the game for. I was so driven to get what I wanted to get out of rugby, and I still am to this day. I go to training, train hard. Just work hard, if I'm honest with you. Whatever you're going to do, just work hard. Nothing comes easy. It'll come one day. Like, it probably might not come straight away, but you just got to work hard for it. There's dreams and there's dreams of playing a World Cup on your own side. And for me, winning the World Cup on your own side is, like, the biggest dream. 